everyone! So today I want to talk to you about literary blind spots a little bit. kind of want to do this generally and then talk about some steps I'm going to be taking to kind of cure my own literary blind spots a bit. Um, I've found this year I've been reading a lot of Victorian literature and especially a lot of Victorian male authors. Um, having worked my way through Thomas Hardy's bibliography as well as the majority of Charles Dickens and a, a reasonable chunk of Anthony Trollope, I find a lot of the perspectives that I'm internalizing are white male British authors. And that's fine, but I feel like I'm missing a well-rounded reading kind of schedule and I want to address that in 2017. Just kind of widen my perspectives a lot. I especially find, as far as like modern literature goes, I am not familiar with what is currently coming out and what is popular. Um, I know a lot of people love obviously more like current fiction, but I just find it so overwhelming to try and pick out what I'm going to enjoy, whereas if I go to my classic shelf, I know I'm going to find something that at least has some literary merit. Um, so this is this is something I kind of need to get over myself. Um, another issue I have is reading works from other countries other than obviously England or works that were originally published in English. Part of the problem is is that not nearly enough works are translated into English and being a monolinguist this means that I struggle sometimes to find works from other countries, but I think I need to work a bit harder at that and definitely widen my perspectives. Uh, one of the books I'm really excited to get to, and I probably won't get to this until the new year, is uh, Mishima's The Sailor Who Fell From Grace With The Sea, which is one of like a very popular uh, Japanese work and the only Auth Japanese authors that I'm familiar with are Haruki Murakami, who I'm not overly fond of. Um, I've read a few of his works and if you like Haruki Murakami, great. This isn't a criticism of that. It's just, it's not for me. I do not find his writing particularly scintillating. Um, and Ishirago, I think it was the floating, an island, an artist on a floating island. It was part of the Drop Cap series, which I read before I got rid of them. Um, and I realized I just, Somebody was reading this on Goodreads and I thought, oh, that appeals to me. So I decided to pick this one up. So I will probably get to this early on in the new year. Um, obviously, I do have a fair bit of experience with reading Russian and French literature. I've done TBRs on both of those recently um, and talked about the Russian, which you guys can kind of see back there. It's a bit blurred out, but the Russian uh, vintage classics. But I do find that, you know, I do not know a lot about literature outside of England, America, kind of Canada. I'm not very well versed in my canlet. Um, France and Russia, and I think that that's, that's lacking. I'm, I'm depriving myself of an education on that. So that's something that I want to work towards in the new year and kind of working towards discovering new authors from places and new perspectives that are outside of my own experiences and my own, you know, kind of circles. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys ever find this, if you find yourselves kind of getting into a rut with literature and just reading the same thing over and over again and what you do to get out of it. And I would love to hear from you guys. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for another Vlogmas video. Bye!